Hi, welcome back. My name is Kate. If you're new here, this is a very different video than I normally do, but I thought it'd be fun to do a what I eat in a week because I love watching these kind of videos, so I thought I would make one. watch some of my vlogs you know that I eat some variation of this oatmeal every single morning don't really have a desire to switch it up I switch up like the fruits and stuff and then a nice coffee with almond milk I brewed the coffee this morning and then put it in the fridge so it'd be cold by the time that I wanted to drink it first meal of the day I'm gonna eat this and watch some YouTube meal number two this is lunch I'm gonna eat it with tortilla chips I actually don't have a kitchen table I just sit on the floor on like a pillow I am on my second big glass of water. We're feeling too lazy to cook, so we're actually gonna go out to eat tonight. We're gonna go to this place called Queen Burger. Same breakfast as yesterday, but I made a matcha instead of a coffee. This is the matcha that I use. And then I just put a little bit of maple syrup for some sweetener. I eat this every single day. I'll try to switch it up for you guys, but realistically, this is what I eat every single day. I'm going grocery shopping. So I'm gonna go to Whole Foods. I don't always go to Whole Foods. We normally go to this chain called Food Lion, which is in, I don't know if it's anywhere else. It's in North Carolina, but the Whole Foods here, I just wanna say is so nice because it's small. But the fact that the Whole Foods is kind of small and more like homey, I would say, makes grocery shopping just so much more enjoyable. So, shout out to the Whole Foods here, I love you. Uh oh, TD. Ever since I found out that they sold singles of these, I buy one every time I go to Whole Foods because they're only like 99 cents. Do you guys want a haul? All right, I'll do a haul. First, eggs. Gotta restock the oats always. I've been wanting to make oat milk, so I thought I would just do it in this video because then I could show you guys if it works out for me. One bunch of kale, some celery, two zucchinis. I crocheted this produce bag. I actually have a tutorial on my TikTok. It's super easy, you just need some cotton yarn. Some cuties, a cucumber, extra firm tofu, some crushed tomatoes, and four bananas. I'll tell you how much I spent, but keep in mind this is not a full grocery haul. We still have some stuff like avocados, tortillas, stuff like that. I have some quinoa here. I spent $22.97. So that's the grocery haul. I guess I'll just try to make the oat milk now. Why not? <laughs> measure things very well so we're just gonna kind of wing it I was expecting it to be so much more oats Okay, I wanna taste test this, but I wanna say I don't really drink oat milk or any type of milk on its own. Like it's usually only in my coffee or matcha. It's honestly really good, especially with the cinnamon. Like you have to put, the, I mean, you don't have to obviously if you don't like cinnamon, but I really love cinnamon. This with like a cookie or something would be so good. Try this out and then I don't know how long this is good for. I'm assuming I could probably finish it before it goes bad. Okay, I'm gonna make an iced coffee and then we'll do another review.
It's literally so good. Do it with the cinnamon, please. Only if you like cinnamon though. I'm so excited that this is actually really good. Pre-workout snack, two clementines. Someone was cooking garlic bread and it smells so good. Post four miles. I'm not really training for anything in specific. I just kind of want to be able to run. I'm watching the sunset for my circadian rhythm. I've been running pretty consistently, so it's getting a little bit easier, which is nice. My kitchen has absolute horrendous lighting at night, so bear with me. I just got back from my workout. I'm about to make dinner. I tried to film while I was running, but I really do not think you guys will see that footage. I'm about to make some black bean quinoa tacos. It's a recipe I've been making a lot recently and it's fairly easy, so I'll show you guys how I make it. This is everything you'll need. So first thing is we're gonna sweat the onion and some olive oil. Add some garlic. Add tomato paste. And then your seasonings and a little bit of broth. Add the quinoa and toast it for like a minute or two. Once it's boiling, you can add the beans. I don't think I'm gonna add the whole pan, maybe half of it. And then the corn as well. Then I'm just gonna let this simmer, and then while I do that, I'm just gonna toast the tortillas and then cut up some lime. I was gonna go for a morning run today, but it's literally pouring rain. So I'm just gonna do a little Pilates workout here. But I guess today I'll do a little bit longer than I normally do since I'm not gonna be running today. And then I'm gonna eat breakfast. All done. Time for breakfast. I've always struggled with getting enough protein in my diet. So the other day I was thinking I should probably buy some protein powder to add to my daily routine. And I'm not even kidding, the same day, Earth Shrimp reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try their vegan protein powder. So of course I said yes. So here's the package. I'm gonna open it for you guys. And look how cute the packaging is. I'm really excited to try this because it has no added sugar, no added salt, no GMOs, no added ethyrol, erythrol, erythrol. See, I can't even pronounce it. That's how you know it's probably not great for you. No gums, no gluten, no soy, and no dairy. So you can feel better about what you're putting in your body. It also has a USDA organic seal, which means that 95% of this product is organic, which is awesome. So let's try it. I think I'm just gonna make like a protein smoothie. So I'm just gonna add two scoops. Another cool thing about this protein powder is you can buy it with the scoop the first time, this little plastic scoop that normally comes with it. Um, but the next time you repurchase it, you can choose it without the scoop so you don't have to collect unnecessary protein scoops and it just cuts down a lot on plastic waste. Also, this is pretty minimal packaging. I hate the big tubs of protein. I'm gonna add some peanut butter. I worked at a protein shake shop in college and we were always like throwing those big tubs of protein around, which was so annoying. Like they were so big. It was kind of like a hassle to dispose of them. I'm also gonna add hemp seeds and chia seeds, a few ice cubes. So like I said before, there was no added sugars in the protein, but for me, like I like sweet things and I'm not too concerned about my sugar intake, but I like that you can control whether it's there or not. So I'm gonna add a little bit of maple syrup and some cinnamon, because I love cinnamon, like a lot of it. 
Okay, now I'm just gonna blend it up and then we're gonna do a taste test. All right, taste test. I'm making that face because I just got like a brain freeze. Isn't that what you're supposed to do if you have a brain freeze? It's actually really good. It doesn't taste like super fake. I guess this is substituting my oatmeal today, but I'm definitely gonna add this to my oatmeal. So honestly, really good. And then also like put it in my coffee too. I have so many ideas, guys, like I said. I literally worked at a protein smoothie shop. Thank you, Earth Chimp. I totally thought it was gonna rain all day, but it's been like rainy and sunny on and off. So I'm gonna go out to the scrap exchange because it's Friday. I'm eating a clementine for a snack. I'm doing cold oats this morning. So I added a banana, mixed everything up already. Now I'm gonna make a matcha and that will be my breakfast. And then I'm gonna have to pack a few snacks because today I'm doing my first market. So I'm gonna pack some snacks so I don't get hungry. I got a sandwich. My post-market drink. I was going to just make a coffee, but then I was kind of hungry too, so I just made it into a shake. So I put coffee, the oat milk I made, some of that uh, protein powder, and then I, for a treat, I put whipped cream and cinnamon. So I'm just chugging it because I'm so hungry and thirsty. It was really hot today, so this is like really refreshing. I haven't moved, but Elliot bought a pastry earlier, so I'm eating it. <laughs> We're going out to dinner again, which is probably bad, but we just don't have that many groceries, so. We're gonna go get pizza. And I know I ate pizza two days ago, but mind your business. That's some good shit. I didn't even wash my face today. Good morning. I just did my Pilates workout and I'm really craving a chocolate croissant. So I'm gonna go get one, sit outside, journal for a little bit while I eat it and then come back and have like a proper breakfast. This is my outfit. I'm wearing Elliot's headphones. I forgot to film my oatmeal because I ate it so fast. I made some more oat milk yesterday. So I'm just drinking this coffee with oat milk. A nice little salad and some leftover pizzas for dinner tonight. Pizza falls in one of two categories. It's either a ranch pizza or a balsamic and oil pizza. And if you don't know which one it is, it's probably a ranch pizza. That's my philosophy. Didn't eat enough protein today, so I made an Oreo shake for dessert that has the chocolate protein powder and like six Oreos, or I guess six mint Oreo thins, some oat milk, a banana. It's actually really good. So this morning, I think I'm gonna make some banana pancakes and I have a ripe banana. So I think I'm just gonna mix it with an egg and then some of this almond flour. I have oat milk that I just made so I could drink it with my coffee. looking pancakey to me so I'm gonna add like a little bit of normal flour. spilled syrup everywhere. I will say, I think I put a little bit too much oil in the pan, which made them cook really fast. The texture looks okay. This is the first time I've done this, by the way. Wait, that's so good. 
It's like banana bread and a pancake. You know what would be really good is if you put like chai spice in these. Comment down below if you want another one of these videos because I'm having a lot of fun making it. And every time I make something new, I kind of get new ideas, but chai spice pancakes would be really good. Like the banana pancakes. All right, I'm gonna finish this up and then I'll see you at lunchtime. I'm having a super late lunch. It's actually like 4 p.m. It's just a salad. It has like avocado, cucumber, tomato, beans, corn, kale, nutritional yeast, and then like oil and vinegar. I'm not gonna lie, that meal was so bottom tier. Like it was not that good. I just ended up adding different flavors together and it just didn't work out, so. Running out, but I think I'm just gonna fry some veggies tonight, so. All right, wish me luck. I'm not going that long because I feel like right now. The sun is setting. Today's run was absolutely horrendous. I felt like shit the whole time, so I kind of just was like, at least I did something. Now I'm just gonna walk home. See this nice neighborhood, the houses are so cool. I grabbed a few things from Whole Foods, but I am going out of town, so I can't really buy that many groceries. Oh my God, the squirrel. Like I said, I'm going out of town, so I can't buy like that many groceries and I'm trying to just eat up what we have. I'm very much an ingredient household because I like to make things from scratch a lot. So I'll see you when we get home and when I make dinner. This is my favorite house in this neighborhood. Very simple dinner tonight. I just roasted some vegetables and then made some tofu in the air fryer. I kind of burnt it a little bit, but it makes it nice and crispy. Um, some edamame, and then I'm just heating up some rice. Doing my usual oats and coffee this morning. This time I added apples, which is not something that I normally do, but there was some really good looking honey crisp apples, so I had to buy some. Gotta represent Minnesota with the honey crisp apples. These pancakes are my new obsession. We're making them for lunch today. Kind of a later lunch, it's like three. I haven't really expended any energy. I've been sitting on the couch crocheting. So I haven't been that hungry today, but I have been trying to make a swimsuit. I've made a few of these before, but I'm testing out sewing and lining and it's just not going very well. It's gonna be really cute even if I add a lining or not. I just wanted to test out like the functionality of the swimsuit. This is not related to this video at all. I'm just kind of showing you guys what I've been doing today. Maybe I'll do a video on it, but I can't promise I'll be successful or anything because it's not going very well. Hi, it's Wednesday night, which means this is technically the last meal of the what I eat in a week video, but I am going out of town. So I'll show you my airplane snacks. Um, I just got a pita pocket with some falafel and some fries. 